There we are. Perfect. So tell me a little more about uh, this uh, project and uh, what inspired it and how did you manage to bring it uh, to life? Well, the way we, uh, the way it started was I was in a production of Cats and I was playing Gus the theater cat. I was an old guy um, by a long way and I didn't have a whole lot to do. So I, I was hearing how all these folks were struggling with their, their personal relationships and I wanted to see if I could take that and apply it to people my age. And that's what I did. And that's how we came about with Remember Yesterday with the flashbacks and, and what have you. And uh, we put a little bit of money together and I met uh, a wonderful producer with uh, John Landau, who also has a film coming out uh, next weekend, actually. And um, it took us a it took us about five years to get to this point where we are now. It took us a year to shoot because I had to keep raising money. Um, and then we, our incredible editor, he took his time with it to put all the bells and whistles in it that we couldn't afford. So he made this wonderful, wonderful little film for us. And um, we showed it back in August to some of the local folks and everyone seemed to love it. We got fortunate enough to be picked up by Gravitas Films. And um, we come out on February 14th. So we're pretty excited about it. It's fantastic. What uh, what were you trying to, what are the themes of the movie? What do you think it's truly talking about? I I, I think the, the major theme is that, you know, it, it's never too late. You always get second chances at whatever you love. I mean, you it. I heard this quote about, about a year ago and uh it's no one ever fails they just quit too soon and um that's basically what the theme is uh this this woman seems to think that she's stuck in the life that she's chosen but it's not the life she wanted and then opportunities come up and she has to decide whether or not she wants to take those opportunities or you know, just live the life that that she feels like she's been given. Um, and so that's where the choices are. We always have choices. It doesn't matter our age. And although we can't go back to the past, we can recreate the future, I think. Do you think that's a, a, a sign that um, in general, we all go through some what we call midlife crisis, you know, especially some of us in our 40s, some of us in our 50s, because indeed, uh, there's this sentiment, this feeling that we missed the life we were dreaming for. Yeah, I, I think so. And I think that there are extremes where, um, especially with men, uh, I don't want to upset anybody, but I mean, they start dating, people my age start dating women in their 20s, which is, I think, kind of icky. But, you know, it's just my my personal opinion. I feel that um that we should always chase what we're after but we also should think about what we're after and whatever we grab on to we need to make sure that's what we want as opposed to that's what we think looks good you know our heart is a is a very precious commodity we shouldn't just pass it around you know like pamphlets our heart's too important, so. Absolutely, and it seems like women now are doing it uh, as men used to do it, like the, the cliche on men. True. It's really a lot of women are abandoning their family in their 40s to dream the life, and that's a problem because they are, they are dreamers. Do you think that, you know, social medias and uh, uh, entertainment, like the, the the saturation of the, the the amount of program disconnect people between too much entertainment too much social media that disconnect people and that project them into a, a la la land a virtual land where they can yeah i think so i think I, you know here's an example years ago you would get a bowl of ice cream and then someone decided to put whipped cream on the ice cream well everybody wanted that you know, and then somebody decided to put a cherry on top of it. Everybody wanted that, right? So I think the more that, you know, social media and the media in general paint these pictures 
Um, we want that. We want that. We got to need that. We got, we have to have that. We have to have that. I think life's a little bit more simple than that. Uh, I think the reality is what makes us happy. You have these guys that make billions and billions and billions of dollars and they want to make more. When you're dead, you're dead. You're not taking that money with you. I guarantee it. I don't care what religion you are. You're not taking it with you. What's important is finding out where your heart goes. If you find out where your heart goes, then you find happiness. You know, my opinion. What um, do you? What is the takeaway ultimately with your movie? What are your hope for it uh, in terms of uh, its impact with the audience? Well, obviously, I want everybody on the planet to see it. Um, but honestly, I I think people my age, I think what happens with Hollywood is people my age, Which they're sixties, fifties. Well, I'm I'm fifty six. Oh, so you're like me. I'm fifty four. Yeah, I think you know the, the general public has has come to basically say this is the life we live and and we go to the movies because Sean Penn or you know Johnny Depp or or whoever is in this film and that's the way that people in at, at my age act well it's not true what we did with remember yesterday is we made a simple movie you know we didn't it's, I, I I did this video the other day about um You know, it, it would be nice to have a coliseum and fountains in the background, but we're not making Roman holiday. It would be nice and funny to have a guy with obsessive compulsive disorder with a little puppy following him around. But we're not making as good as it gets, right? We made a simple film about you and me. That's it. And, and my hope is that people, when they see it, they smile. I don't need them to do cartwheels down Main Street. I don't need that. In today's society, in today's broken communities, we're not smiling as much as we used to. I want to bring some sort of some sort of happiness back to uh, the movies I make. You know, I, I I don't want them to be these Seth Rogen let's laugh out loud kind of things. I want it to be a chuckle and something that makes you feel good. Now, I've been told that movies like that don't make it. I'm going to change that. I want to make people smile and feel good about things, right? Yeah, because do you think that what we need to do to each other is really give the love? And, 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 and it's not naive because actually love is power. And I think if you give power to people, there is a sense of security within that grow and with that sense of security you disarm hate disconnection and therefore you will build relationship yeah i i i truly believe that the pain that society has is individual i really believe it's individual buddha said you have to love yourself before you can share joy with others right and i think that we I think our society has made mistakes that we continue to blame ourselves for. Well, we continue to blame other people for. But if we look inside ourselves and find out where our pain is coming from, maybe, just maybe, we can find some way to alleviate that pain and then start sharing our happiness with other folks. I, that's important to me. Um, my little central group of pals that, you know, we, we're all actors and, you know, we, we like to cook for one another and we like to have Christmas parties and this, that, and the other. But we also like to talk to one another. I think society's gotten away from talking to one another. Uh, and I think we need to get back to that. You know, what is wrong with you? I want to know. So if there's a chance, maybe I can help with what's wrong with you, you know? Because I'll tell you what's wrong with me. If we can share, maybe we can find a middle ground. I am because we are. That's it. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Great. Well, thank you so much, sir, for the good conversation.
count on me to spread the word and you know support this uh, little uh, jewel of movie very charming very sweet um you know it gives hope uh, to all of us that uh, love uh, thrive and remains beyond the chaos. Oh, thank you thank you very much i really appreciate you having me on thank you so much and hopefully you'll have me back absolutely you bet take good care thank you bye bye john see ya take care Salute.